even the people who do know Biden, I would say, are not overly excited about his candidacy. I mean, when you look at the numbers and break down the data, it is mostly a vote against Trump, not necessarily a vote for Biden, which I will say concerns me because if he's not an excitable candidate and you have to consider this new electorate that's a part of this process now, and for them, Obama was their floor, not their ceiling. And so previously, um, you know, people could only see the possible and now people are seeing the impossible and they're asking how do we reimagine America? How do we reimagine every part of democracy that we thought was written in stone? And so I think Biden has made um, some mistakes here or there where he's tried to make safe choices and tried to walk the middle of the road. And I would argue in this time, that's how you become political roadkill. I think his uh, candidacy is going to hedge heavily on his running mate. So I really hope that he picks a running mate who can excite the masses and people who are used to having a president who, you know, can inspire you and, and was an orator, like a, a Sunday morning Baptist preacher. I don't think there's enough younger people in the electorate who realize that's a once in a lifetime type uh, candidate, a once in a lifetime type president. I think there are a lot of people who have an Obama hangover um, and, and think that, you know, we need somebody who's going to inspire us like that. And politics and policy are not always inspiring. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes you have to do the work and actually read about people's platform and how it speaks to you. So I, I just I say that to say that I really hope Biden, the Biden campaign understands and realizes that, um, you know, with the ground swelling from folks like Rick at the, at the Lincoln Project. But I, I just I think if he tries to make a safe choice this go around, that it could be incredibly devastating to the Democratic Party.